Welcome to our family channel, EJ Makes Us Six. Let me now introduce my family. This is EJ, our two-year-old mischievous little boy. And here is Kiara. She loves anything to do with fashion and dance. And this is Katya. She has a huge TikTok following. Go follow her now. And this is Matthew. He loves streaming. He also has a Twitch account. And this is Ricky. Ricky loves sharing his Fijian cuisine. And then here I am, Lorena. Recently on our family channel, I have started a hashtag mum life series where I share with you mum life. Anywhere from grocery hauls to deep speed cleaning that will give you the motivation to get your house nice and clean and tidy. I also share cooking and recipes. I will share with you also food prep and day-to-day -day life as a mum. Lots of cleaning, lots of cooking, lots of organising and also I'm going to focus on self-care as well. It is so important for us mums or us women in general to take time with self-care. Recently I produced my first ever DIY video. I enjoy producing this so much and there will be some more DIYs coming soon. We are located in Melbourne, Australia, and we would love for you to come and join our YouTube community family. you know all about our channel and our family. Today is a grocery haul and all the groceries have been purchased from Woolworths. I really enjoy shopping at Woolworths. I'm gonna to start today over there at the pasta section. So let's get to it. So starting here at the pasta section, the Sanremo pasta, I have spaghetti, bow ties and rigottini. So, these, the pasta packets were a dollar 95 each for a 500 pack of pasta. It's a good price. I only needed a small portion of chicken breast, so I just purchased this from Woolworths as well, and that was $8.50, and it says it's about 500 grams. So I'm making a chicken soup, so I just wanted to add some shredded chicken into the soup chicken breast. Then I have a huge, huge, huge pack of the 24 thin beef sausages. They are priced beautifully at $9. So what I tend to do is I divide them up into six and put them in freezer bags and place them obviously in the freezer until we do need them. I prefer to buy in bulk, especially with a family of six, as you can imagine. And then we have the hamburgers here. The kids love these as well. So you get 10 of the beef patties. And the hamburgers are also $9, which is great. We're always satisfied as a family of six with this packet of hamburgers. Delicious. On to the eggs. And these are 30 eggs and they were $12. The Mayfair bacon. Shortcut bacon is $11, and that's one kilo of bacon, which I think is great. The 30 pack of the party pack, which I think is fantastic, and it's actually great for our weekends when um, all the kids are home with us. We put that in the oven, it's just delicious, and that's $9.80, which I really feel is great value. 
four liters of the motor oil was $25 and on sale. I'm so grateful when this oil is on sale because we prefer to buy the liter and it's more cost effective as well by doing it this way. These fries, the kids absolutely love. It's 900 grams and they were $3 for the pack, which I believe is great value. So I was so excited to see the Carmen's oat slices were on sale. So I actually bought three boxes because they were only $3 each. They were half price. So they were really, really well priced. The kids take them for snacks for school or just snacks when they're at home as well. And the nut bars, I think, are well priced too. It's a 12 pack. These nut bars are delicious. It's pretty good. You get 12 bars and it's um, $5 a box, so it's good. So the full cream milk, I actually brought two of these, which are two litres each, and they were $2.40 each. I think this table salt is so well priced. It's one kilo, which is going to last us like forever, and it was only 90 cents. So hello, so worth it. We're pretty good at the moment with our fruit and veggies as I had to stock up the other day. So I only just bought some bananas and these bananas weigh just under a kilo and it came to $2.68. So that's that. On to the tortillas and they were on sale. It was a pack of 16 for $5.50, which were fantastic. The sliced bread here, which is a Woolworths brand and that's $1.60 for wholemeal bread which is great value as well. And you can see sneaking in there, the Betty Crocker, the devil's food, the chocolate cake. Cake mix, the devil's food, Betty Crocker is $5.20. And I'm sure Katia will make this for us over the weekend. <laughs> so over here, these delicious sour cream and onion flavored chips. They were $1.75 each. Twisties, oh my gosh, I've been craving some of these twisties. After seeing EJ eating a pack the other day, I haven't had twisties in such a long time. So twisties, and that's a 270 gram bag, and that was $3. Is such a great value. It's a 20 mixed multi-pack, and that is only $4, so it is really really well priced so i had to buy toothpaste for ej he had run out and also for my ensuite with ricky and the bathroom for the kids and this one is three dollars twenty and our colgate came to four dollars ninety five each and they actually were on sale as well so we needed some toothbrushes as well and the brand is all smiles and this is a pack of six, and it came to only $7.50. So these were always great to have in handy because we need to change over our toothbrushes very regularly. So over here is the wipes, the little ones. It's a six pack, and it's very well priced at $10. So the Huggies here, <laughs> 30 pack, and they were priced at $16. The shampoo and conditioner were priced at $7.50 with each. We do go through a bit because, well, Katia, Kiara and I do have long hair. Shampoo and conditioner always um, needed in our household. The body wash here was priced at $7. It was on sale, so that's why I've chosen the palm olive today. The total I spent today at Woolworths was $229.33 and that includes taxes and GST. I will also include, I had to go to the Indian grocery as well and I purchased some roti for Ricky and that's a great value, it's a 30 pack for $12.99. And the rice, which is five kilos, was only $11.99. So the rice is really well priced as well. 
it's worth going to check out the Indian groceries because they do have some really good bargains. So this concludes my grocery haul for today, my Woolworths grocery haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Which grocery store do you use most? Thanks once again for watching. EJ makes us six. Bye guys.